Hi everyone and welcome to I'm DG, Mr. DG here. Work for the Lords of Sunlight. <laughs> Kinda corny name I know, but couldn't find another. Uh, uh you if you wanna know what game I'm playing right here is it is called Bind of Isaac. I'm gonna play that while I'm talking about a few stuff, then I'm gonna go back talking about the game. Or you see the item I picked up. It's kind of a useful item. Makes me be able to shoot through rock. Pretty useful actually. And it's, uh, let's get back to the top. Uh, yeah, this is a fresh channel. We just made it. Me and another, some other people. Yeah, we all are going to make our own videos, and you're gonna say which one of us made a video. I'm gonna make up our own playlist working on our jo own genres of game anyways while you looking at the fine boss battle here I'm gonna give ourselves a big welcome here to YouTube and uh, we're gonna get yeah we have partnership I don't know exactly how we got it since it's a fresh channel but we did yeah I kinda suck at the game I know but I don't know exactly how, but I got a YouTube partnership and uh, kind of weird. But uh, the money we we might get from the future views can get can be really helpful for support. So if you see ads or anything on our video, please don't complain. We really could use the money. And well, now we're gonna go to the topic of future view videos, videos, which is actually. We're planning on making videos of Assassin's Creed 3, where you have pre-order pre it, and we are actually about to buy a HD PVR, and some FIFA 13 gameplay as well. So look out for that. Uh, and we also think about uh, going back to some PS2 classics and uh, Super Nintendo classics, because who doesn't love those? But, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Great welcome, big welcome. We're gonna try to grow as a channel, and we want you, the viewer, to help us out. So please share our channel, show your friends. We're gonna do our best we can. So give us feedback too. So that's one thing we really would like to see from you. Give us feedback. But that's pretty much it. You got a few videos. We're gonna do some Assassin's Creed 3 videos. Oh yeah, some Flash games as well. And League of Legends. There are Lord, one of our Lords of Sunlight called Relax Forever. And will make both uh, normal LOL fights and some trolling videos on LOL. So. League of Legends, if you didn't know, of course you know, but, and uh, White Galaxy is going to be uh, the one responsible uh, for the Flash games, and she also going to put up some art tutorial, which I think is kind of neat, and, <laughs> you see, there's a, there's a, okay, let me get back on topic, and our one, worker that is on that doesn't really have a nickname he uh, uh, he is going to make the FIFA 13 videos and we're gonna find someone that uh, is going to do the shooter genres because none of us are really into shooters that much none of them like them but uh, I'm gonna find a guy for that. I, I'm gonna handle more of the RPG and open world stuff. More of the sandbox and RPG games. Uh, our guy without a nickname is going to handle more of the sports games. And as we said, Wide Galaxy, Flash games, and art tutorial, which is kinda neat, I'm gonna be honest. And Relax Forever, which is going to handle the LOL. Basically, a bunch of RTS multiplayer games. Okay, now that we all got all that news and presentation of ourselves, 
Yeah, if you you might have noticed, I'm sound pretty young. Yeah, we are kind of young, but please don't let that distract you. We we really like video games and making videos is pretty fun. And yeah, but we need we need to buy a lot of stuff and we need money for support because we li really like to make videos and we really like to make them as high quality as possible. Anyways, now that we got, got all that out of the way, let's speak, out of, speak of this game, Binding of Isaac. Well, this game kind of makes fun of Christianity, so if you are a hardcore Christian, then stay away from this game. If you're a normal Christian, don't really bother with it that much, then uh, go for it. This game is pr actually pretty fun. As you notice, I was in that one room where I took this item. If you... Give two of your health. Uh, that that thing is, that room is called a devil room. There's also an angel room. Don't worry. It's not worshiping Satan or anything. But there's also an angel room where you have to pay some of your life to get an item. It's, but it's actually pretty cool. And I picked up an item which makes me fly, which is really really yet. Uh, Helpful. I must uh, and that item called Ouya, which is uh, making it possible for me to shoot through rock. Now uh, you see me fighting this boss battle. Now this one got really hard for me because you see the shit all over the screen and I have nowhere to go. There are flies and they can fly over the rock. The spiders go all over, all over the place and then we got this guy shooting machine guns and monsters. He's shooting all over the place and he every time I kill something he keeps respawning them. But I managed to survive this battle but I die later on. Which kinda which kinda is a pity because I got a Got, got pretty good items and you think my voice is pretty annoying is because this microphone is pretty bad sorry for that uh, that I blow a little then it goes yeah my microphone is pretty bad I'm gonna buy a, buy a blue snowball microphone which is a lot better so you see I got a health upgrade there so the health I gave to the devil came back to me so a big middle finger to the devil right there Goddamn sucker. Uh, yeah. Now, what, uh, I'm gonna talk about the plot of this uh, game. Basically, the plot doesn't really make that much sense, but I'm gonna try to explain it as, as good as possible. Basically, this guy named Isaac uh, lived in a normal house and his mom is a hardcore Christian and all. Then one day she gets like a message from God that says that Isaac is unpure and you know shit like that. And she being the hardcore Christian that she is, uh, uh, that infection thing that uh, just picked up. Every time you get hit, uh, the flies comes out, comes out of your uh, body. Anyways. Oh, the, oh, these guys, I don't really know what they're called, but don't, for the love of God, don't let them hit you. Because they steal your money and you will never get it back. I mean, resources are really valuable in this game. I mean, it's really randomly re generated. And actually, you don't really need any of the items or money if you got skill for it. But I don't got skill for it, as you see here. And the plot is basically you run away from your mom that eventually tries to kill you as an offering to God and after a while you manage to beat her and after you beat her the first time of oh, pestle and he he's one of the four horsemen I think. I think it's four or five. Yeah, there's like headless horsemen but this boss is pretty easy, except for he summons maggots fighting for him. But you can trick him to kill the maggots for you. Which is kind of bad, I didn't figure that out to begin with. Anyways, back to the plot. I'm really bad at staying on topic today. I don't know why. But the 
Plus, basically, you're trying to run away from your mom, then go back to your mom to beat her, and then, for some reason, God takes the Bible and kills Isaac's mom. But after you, the thing is, after you beat the game once, and then you beat a mom again, you will go to another place called Mom's Womb, where you will have to kill her heart. heart. Well, you would think a Bible to the head would be enough, but no. The plot is really confused, but that doesn't really matter. The game is pretty fun. Ah, this boss pistol in is pretty easy after you chop his head off. And you see those blues, blue hearts? Those are called spirit hearts, uh, which I, which work like normal hearts, but when you lose them, they are gone for good. I sort, I think these call these things are called period. Yeah, death by period. What's a faith worse than that? I'm too young for this. Nah, I'm not. I'm from the generation that thinks swag should be a religion, so fuck it. Uh, yeah, this as I said, it's randomly generated. You will never play the same place twice. It will never feel the same. It will. It, it's hard to get tired of this game. I will say that because I have played it non-stop since I got it. Now, I'm playing a uh, special edition, which is called Wrath of the Lambs. I got more bosses that I might face a few that you haven't. <sighs> God damn it, more vaginas. I was a filthy mouth today. Uh, I'm really not that good at commentating uh, since my English is kind of limited because I'm not living in a English-speaking country. I wasn't even born in an English-speaking country or anything. This was pretty much self-taught. Or I learned in school, but not that much in school if I'm going to be honest. So I apologize my English can be very limited and this commentary pretty boring. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, what, what I forgot to mention is I, I am going to make Dark Souls challenge videos because I love that game. I love that Dark Souls, it, but it's gotten so easy. I want to give myself a ja challenge and I want to show you guys while I get through these challenges. I just killed the gargoyles but naked with only a long sword and no shield. Oh, what you see there when I'm blowing up there is a tainted rock. Sometimes they jump out a chest but that's rare. Most of the time they just dr uh, drop uh, spare hearts. Oh these guys. These guys are assholes. I tell you already. They like to jump and you have... It's really hard to dodge them because it's four of them. Uh, and when they land, these bloody things comes out, and man, is that annoying. <sighs> now you see uh, there, there, up there, you see it says Flat Penny, and I didn't know what I was while I played it as well, but apparently every time you pick up a penny you get a key and why I'm not going over the spikes because I wasn't sure the flying ability would save me from the spikes I, I know that's pretty stupid but uh, but that's what I thought now, as you see I suck at this game I have been in it before I've been in it twice actually got into mom's heart once yeah, I got an odd mushroom that shrinks me in size and takes up my bullet capacity. Oh, you see those guys, too? those stone things? They are pure ass. I mean, you can't kill them and they won't stop shooting until you kill every enemy on screen. And since these things keep moving around uh, all over the place, I have a hard time hitting them. And I get hit by these rock stuff things, I don't know what they're called. 
so this is actually a pretty long video I apologize for that I truly apologize for that but it uh, got pretty out of hand and this is a really good game so I got sucked into it while I played and I got pretty far actually this uh, this the level you play before you come to mom and I should have made one more deal with the devil just so I could have gotten that extra character. You can unlock a uh, different character in this game. The first one, you start with the, nor with the first one called Isaac. I think this one is called, it's called Maddie or Maggie, I don't know. But if you do like two deals with the devil, you get unlock an another character. Which is pretty useless in, is actually pretty useless. But still something I want to unlock. I see that cube of meat rolling around me. Oh, this is where I actually... I think this is where I died actually. And I am pure ashamed of this. Because this is one of the easiest boss battles ever. Because uh, that's because I got out of rhythm a little bit. And started jumping around trying to make him his moment attack. And I wasn't ready for it when it came. But, and yeah, I found a card which I didn't really know what what it did, so I waited for the boss battle, and then I used it, and I, then it took me to a room I already been in, which is actually pretty assy. Now I tried to use the rocks to my advantage to hide behind them, but that didn't work out so well. Oh, this is not working out at all. Like, oh yeah, if you don't think I said it, uh, that cube of meat. If something hit it, uh, I won't take damage. Or the other thing will take damage, actually. <laughs> yeah, see, I died here. This is where I died. Now, this is where I will stop the video because uh, this is where I died, so... Goodbye you guys and see ya later.